So we're at the stage now where I've started to add a few more annotations and my design sheet is starting to look a little bit livelier. I've started to think about different connotations for the actual shape. For example, what they could do. Do they have doors? Do they have drawers? Do they have shelves? If they have drawers, do the drawers slide in and out? How are they going to be stocked? What kind of materials are we going to use? One thing that occurred to me is you know, could I get some fabric in there? Could I get some aluminium, this one in the center? You know, if I was gonna have an aluminium skin, which could be bent around that shape, how would I actually roll that aluminium? How would I fasten it in? Would I use pop rivets or make it look more industrial, almost architectural? Um, or like the one on the left here, if I was having a fabric skin over a, a frame, what I would need is I would need some kind of um, physical structure as you might have on a, on a partition wall, and then that skin could be stretched over. Or if I was having uh, thoughts about the shape of the project or the product, how would I actually do that? Am I going to make jigs to help me cut that out? Would I laser cut that? Would I actually design that on CAD and then cut it out on the CNC router? One of the advantages of that is, if you have a look at this one here, it's got some curves, and they could be easily replicated several times or as many times as you like uh, for the different parts of the, the structure. You could also design using uh, 2D CAD um, your back piece which has some grooves in so that your shelves literally slot in there and they could be glued and screwed or glued and pinned or simply just glued. And again, it's never too early to think about how you actually might manufacture this product. Be aware, though, that this is just one idea from one of your series of crated shapes. You can do this as many times as you like. And in the same way that I'm doing this now, you could fill up your space with lots and lots of different ideas sketched, or you could film and add those into your folio in the same format that I've done here. You can be as creative and inventive as you want. With 20 slides, obviously space is at a premium, so we need to be thinking very carefully. We don't want to spend all of our time producing scratty, original, initial thumbnail sketches, but these are a really good way of starting your ideas off. Again, don't worry about what they look like. Don't worry about the fact that they're scruffy. The livelier your shapes, the quicker you do them, will add to the feeling that you are working and producing lots and lots of different ideas very, very quickly. The next stage is to possibly pick one of these out and start to develop it, maybe create it, maybe take it to CAD, and that's what I'm going to do next.